Help support the companies that support our community.
turned down a small waste block so that I could put it back on the lathe, bring the tailstock back up to support it, and go ahead and turn the foot off. So I used a spindle gouge for that, cleaned that all up, and then went right around the corner there to clean up the bottom and concave it just a little bit. And then went through the same process, ran through all the grits of sandpaper, applied the oil on it, and then used a fine detail tool to bring down that little point there for the live center, and then finish it off with a pole saw. There it is. So it's acacia. So Robin was searching on Pinterest for project ideas, and I hear, well, that's beautiful. So I know that's <laughs> code for, can you make it? And we're about to find out if I can or not. So she found there was a small pot and it had the similar design here. It, it did exactly the same thing. It was a pot that actually went around. So it was really cool. And I don't know who did it, but it, the top shape here matched the bottom. So because I wanted to do something a little bit different, I did a vase, but there's actually the shape in here matched the shape that went around the down the side and it was super cool, it was really neat. And they did the same thing. They, they went ahead and burnt around the lips. I would burnt, go down deeper next time so that this is more, more of a, you know, the, the highlight of it, that burnt line in there, so you could really see that detail. And then coming down here, you just kind of carve it and sand it to blend into the to the side of it. But the piece of acacia I had had the heartwood in there, and it came out the side. So I, when I first put it on the lathe, I pulled it off center just a little bit so that I knew what I was going to do. So I that when I started carving on it, it would blend in and kind of look like it was dripping down the side there. So. So super fun project. I'd never done one of those before, but just neat little detail like that. I just used the wood burner and I just used a little round tip on it and just kept going around at random to create the little burn lines on it, but super fun. It's uh, what is it? It is five, just about five inches in diameter and about seven inches tall. Neat little vase. All right, I think that is about it. Um, I used the oh, I used the Arbortech to carve it out. That thing. So if you haven't seen one of those before, it's it's like a little. I'm gonna say like a little jackhammer. Um, it's got a little gear in there. You, it's so nice because you can hold on to the chisel. It's not. Um, you know, it's not going back and forth or anything. You could hold onto the chisel and it just vibrates just a little bit. So you, you can get real detailed with it, hold on right onto it, you're no danger or anything, and just kind of carve along with it. So it's it's a nice tool to have. It's, um, I'll put a link down below in the description to Arbor Tech, but it's, it's a cool tool. I've done quite a few things with it. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Have a great weekend. See ya. You're sticking your tongue out. <laughs>